Today on MTG Unpack, we're cracking open our first box of Throne of Earl Drain, and with me to do the pack blessings, we have the Ginger Brute. And if you have not seen the video the other day with the insane pulls from some collector packs, I'll pop a link up in the corner there. Absolute craziness. All right, so let's take a look at the promo card here. So this is a foil mythic. Kenrith, the returned king, legendary creature, human noble, 5-5 five, five for 5. So you pay red, all creatures gain trample and hasten to end of turn. Pay 1 and a green, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature. 2 and a white, target player gains 5 life. 3 and a blue, target player draws a card. Or 4 and a black, put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under its owner's control. So this guy, you might want to be playing a five color deck to take advantage of all of that, but I'm sure that will work in any deck. All right, so let's get started here. And uh, the promo cards, I got those along with the collector packs the other day for the pre-order of the boxes. Okay, so let's, oh, it's really, oh, these are interesting looser pack design. That's really noticeable. Okay, so these are different than the uh, other packs we've opened so far. That's it. Alright, so we're going to do the pack blessing like so. A quick run along each thing there. And hopefully that will get us the crazy pulls. And we will not be going through everything exhaustively like we usually do. We'll save that for the snacks starting next week. We'll just be looking at the uncommons and the rares or mythics, and they have a pull tab on the side here. Uh, there are a couple of cards in the common slot we'll be keeping an eye out for. Arcane Signet and Command Tower. They're uh, $2 and $5, I believe. Okay, so let's get started. So we've got a token. Oh, the order's different. Okay, so the rare. Vantress Gargoyle. Very cool. Artifact Creature Gargoyle, and then the Uncommons Wonder Mare, Fairy Vandal, and Deafening Silence. Okay, so how are we going to do this? We'll lay these out like so. And then quickly go through the, I think that one might have been a buck or so. Oh, are they? No. Some of these have the uh, showcase artwork as well, so that's something else to keep a lookout for. I'm not sure I like this pull tab thing, it's thrown me off my rhythm. But it does make getting to the rares earlier. Okay, so we've got a food token, forest, and the rare is Folio of Fancies. Oh, showcase artwork, Order of Midnight. Okay, so we can actually get those in the uncommon slot. Very cool. So we'll have a separate pile for those. So Cara the Bold, Covetous Urge, and that is it. Quick look through the commons here. Don't think. If you see anything that's worth a couple of bucks, let me know in the comments. And these cards are sliding around everywhere. I think these are probably, yeah, there we go. Made in Japan, that's why. So they have the uh, smoother finish to them. Higher card quality, so I'm all in favor of that. Next we have a bear token, single-sided, yep, mountain. And Return of the Wild Speaker. Garrick is back, everybody. And a Merrillyf Pixie, Shepherd of the Flock. Another showcase card. Loving these borders. Mad Ratter Creature Goblin. One, two for four. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, create two, one, one, black rat creature tokens. Very nice. Ventress Paladin. Okay, so that is commons. Quickly look through these. Nope, nothing there. Catches my eye. So how is everybody doing with pre-release so far? Have you managed to win some games? What is your record? What decks are you playing? I'll be uh, trying to figure out what I'm playing in the forthcoming standard. All my decks have rotated out. We have a food token swamp. And a rare. Oh, not a rare. 
It's a foil ogre errant. Separate pile for foils and Castle Lockthwain is the rare. With a bog naughty inspiring veteran and tournament grounds. Okay, I'm not sure if you can get the showcase cards in the common slot. Probably not. Ginger Brute, there he is. Okay, next pack here. And we've already gone through the uh, Planeswalker decks. So check those out if you haven't already, if you're interested. So on an adventure, so a little token card there, Island. And the rare is Burrow Elder, Tree Folk Druid. Kenris Transformation, turn into a pumpkin and all that glitters. Okay, so keep an eye out. Now I'm wondering whether those uh, commons I'm looking for are actually just in the collector packs or brawl decks, perhaps. What's this? MTG Arena, no table required. Are you playing MTG Arena? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, a swamp and a feasting troll king. We have been trolled, people. There he is, troll noble. And a Sorcerer's Broom, Drown in the Lock, that's sort of sinister. Claim the Firstborn. And a bunch of commons, let's see. Nothing there. And like I said, we'll be going through in our daily snacks. We'll be taking a closer look at all the cards there. I know a lot of people like that stuff. Okay, we get a Wolf Token, single-sided, yep. Mountain, and a rare, not a rare, I keep getting trolled, Sir Conrad the Grim, foil, very nice, okay, second foil, and a mythic, yes, it's Oko, Thief of Crowns, fantastic pull, not quite as cool as the one we pulled from the collector packs, but still, this is a very nice hit, so we have a mythic, I need to set up a mythic pile, I think. Uh, let's do that over here, perhaps. Running out of space. Okay, Bella the Brawl, Beanstalk Giant, Shambling Suit. And let's see what we have here. I'm probably missing a bunch of value there, but oh well, we don't have the time because we are trying to get through this as quickly as we can. Unfortunately, I cannot move at Rudy's speed. He seems to got it, have it down to a fine knack. Okay, we get a Garrick, Curse Huntsman, Token Plains, and the rare is Castle Ardenvale. These castles are pretty cool. Once in future, Elite Headhunter, Redcap Melee, and take a look. Anything jumps out? Nope. So has anyone done anything with these food tokens yet? Cranking out the food? Have, has food managed to win you the game? Leave a note in the comments. An island. And a wicked wolf is the rare. So Alan at the Lion's Claw. Inquisitive puppet. And you can turn him into a real boy. Sage of the Falls. And Wicked Guardian. Let's see. Nothing jumping out at me. All right. Onward. And you know what? That Command Tower, I bet that is in the Brawl deck. So that's probably why I'm not seeing it here. Okay, so we've got MTG Arena. We might just skip the commons, actually. Planes. And a Foil Sorcerer's Broom. Some nice foiling on that. And the rare is Gadwick the Wizened. Legendary creature, human wizard. With a firstborn knight, vulnerable knight. And knights are a thing in this set as well. Ferocity of the Wilds. Okay, we'll have one more check here. Right, I'm going to skip the commons, I think. Let's move this pile out of the way. Make some room. These pull tabs are a little annoying. Can't quite get the hang of that, okay. So we're on an adventure! What do people think of that mechanic? 
It's an interesting idea the way they've done it. Forest and a Torbran Thane of Redfell. They're doing a creature dwarf noble. Is he rare? Oh, nice border on this one. Foulmire Knight, creature zombie knight. That's one of the showcases. And a Grumgully the Generous, creature goblin shaman, legendary no less. Enchanted carriage. And we'll put the commons aside here. So a third of the way through the box. We have some food. Okay, that's different. I wonder how many varieties of food there are. Island. A foil moonlit scavengers. And the rare is Sundering Stroke. Deal 7 damage. Whoa. Witch's Oven. Watch out for that. Trail of Crumbs. Mystical Dispute. Oh, and Reeve Soul. Okay. On to the second part of the box here, we have a mouse token. So we not only have rats, but we have mice, very cool. Planes, and a Black Lance Paragon is the rare. With a Sir Eleanor the Discerning, Steel Claw Lance, and Joust. Still not getting the hang of that. Okay, we're on an adventure. We get a forest. And the rare is Lockmere Serpent. Pretty cool. 7-7. Seven, seven. Lucky Clover. Cauldron's Gift. Righteousness. And bake into a pie. Yeah, you don't want to be baked into that pie. Okay. Maybe I'll try the regular pack opening method. We'll give that a try in a moment. Garrick, Curse Huntsman, Mountain, and Linden, the Steadfast Queen, is the rare. With an Improbable Alliance, Sir Farron, the Henge Hammer, and Revenge of Ravens. Okay. Let's see if I can open it the regular way, or if they're... No, they're going to make me... They're going to make me use the pull tab. What... <laughs> Ah, I can't get the hang of this. Maybe I need to open more packs. We have a fairy token. I thought that was a foil for a second. Nope. Swamp. And, oh, a foil showcase. Garambrig Carver. Look at that. Very cool. So they do that even with the commons, apparently. And a mythic. Yes, it's Rankel, Master of Pranks. They're doing a creature, fairy, rogue. Look at that mischievous face. Stay away from him, keeper of fables. Hypnotic sprite, archon of absolution. And an Ardenvale tactician. Okay, so then what do we got coming up next weekend? The bundles, looking forward to those. Along with an entire box of the collector packs. Can't wait. So we're on an adventure. Mountain and Fires of Invention is the rare. With a Clockwork Servant. Shine Chaser. And Embereth Shield Breaker. Another showcase card here. Love that artwork. So who's the artist here? Jeremy Wilson. Great job, sir. Okay. Moving right along. Oh, there's a rat. There's a rat if ever I saw one. Forest and a foil. Ooh, look at that. Silver flame ritual. Really glowing there. And the rare is Fervent Champion. Sir Conrad the Grim. Giant Opportunity. And Into the Story. Have you gotten into the story? I think they're doing... Uh, Online bits of the story, short stories about this. They're also selling some in ebook form, so have you picked those up? Leave it in the comments. We got a Night Token Swamp. And Fay of Wishes is the rare. Creature Fairy Wizard, so this has Sorcery Adventure. We got a Resolute Rider, Flaxen Intruder. Okay, so this is different artwork. I've seen the showcase version so far. 
Rally for the Throne and a Tempting Witch. Okay. Ah, that's how you do it. You've got to rip it way down like that. We get a MTG Arena, Token Island, and a Gilded Goose. Is that a foil? That's a foil rare. Holy moly. Very nice. Very shiny. And a, oh, look at that love struck beast with this ornate bordering here. Another showcase card. Very cool. That's probably my favorite so far. Other than maybe the uh, Oko. We get a Wintermore Commander, Skull Knocker Ogre, Frogify, that's a fun one, and Barrow Witches. Ah, I didn't rip that one quite how I wanted it. Okay, so we are on an adventure. We get a Plains, and that is not a foil. Piper of the Swarm, so this one's fun. You can uh, create rats and gain control of creatures. Very cool. Deathless Knight, Edgewall Innkeeper, Animating Fairy, and a Lockthwain Paladin. There we go. Rip it all the way down. That's the ticket. Okay, we have a Dwarf Token, Mountain, and a Foil Swamp. Whoa! And where is Happily Ever After? Fantastic. A Heretic Banner, Arcanus Owl, Glass Casket, and Trapped in the Tower. Getting near the end of the second part of the box here, in the middle. Okay, MTG Arena, Plains, and I'm skipping cards now. And the rare is Fabled Passage. Some nice artwork. And an Oakham Adversary, Rampart Smasher, and Slaying Fire. Okay, Wicked Guardian there. <laughs> Here's the boar token. Love the artwork on that one. A forest. And the rare is Escape to the Wilds. Cauldron Familiar, Lock Dragon, and Spectre's Shriek. Festive Funeral. Ooh, okay then. Okay, final third of the box. And it seems like pack opening is becoming increasingly difficult. As I struggle here with these pull tabs, we have some food. A very nice looking swamp there, that'd be nice in foil. And Dance of the Mance. Very punny. Okay, Inspiring Veteran, Kenrith's Transformation, and Deafening Silence. Okay, let's move this common pile aside. I swear we're going to have an avalanche here soon. Let's continue. And again, I ask, how many varieties of food do we have? I keep coming across different foods. An island, a foil youthful knight, and where is Castle Garenbrig? Look at that artwork. Fantastic stuff. Witch's Oven, Drown in the Lock, Ferocity of the Wilds, and a Still Gaze Griffin. Next up we have a giant token, forest, and rare is stolen by the fae, with a beanstalk giant, bell of the brawl, and fairy vandal, and that reminds me, the uh, brawl decks will be coming out soon, so we'll be reviewing all of those on the channel, unfortunately I think I got gouged a bit on those when they went on sale earlier and it was looking like there wouldn't be another print run but then they announced a new print run after that. Okay, more food. A mountain. Oh, the avalanche is happening people. Let's move things away there. Okay, and a stone coil serpent is the rare. That is pretty disturbing. And a firstborn knight. Foulmire Knight, 
and an enchanted carriage. So did anybody else pick up a box of this in the pre-release weekend? So they're selling them earlier per Watsi. So that's much appreciated. Human Cleric, a forest. And Hushbringer is the rare. So I pulled the uh, Borderless card the other day. That was pretty cool. A Heraldic Banner, Grumgully the Generous, Creature Goblin Shaman. So Carrow the Bold and a Dwarven Mine. Okay, next we are on an adventure. We have a planes and a witch's cottage in foil and a mythic. Yes, it's the realm cloaked giant. Creature giant. Very nice. So what are we at? Three mythics now. Not bad at all. A trail of crumbs, Maraleaf pixie and mystical dispute. See if I can. Uh, I'm deteriorating here, people, when you start opening so many packs. Okay, we've got an MTG Arena Island and a Iron Crag Pyromancer. Creature Human Wizard, very nice. Bog Naughty Fairy, Venerable Knight. Mad Ratter and a Tempting Witch. Do not be tempted, it is a poisoned apple. And why does she have all these creepy little hands coming out of her cloak? Seems a little suspicious, don't you think? We have a human token, a swamp. And a foil, raging red cap, goblin knight. And nice, a mythic, questing beast. Have you seen this guy? Vigilance, death touch and haste. Very cool. So that is mythic number four. Let's see, yep. And Oakham Ranger. Very nice, fantastic border on that one. Showcase card. Okay, so we've got things falling everywhere. Burning Yard, Trainer, Savvy Hunter, and Lockthwain Paladin. Okay, so we down to last four packs. And I wonder if I'll get used to opening these. Maybe it'll be like Battle Bond. It took a while. Human Warrior, a forest. And Once Upon a Time is the rare. Not bad. And a Epic Downfall. Thunderous Snapper, Turtle Hydra. And Sage of the Falls. With a Wicked Guardian. Next, so MTG Arena, an island, and a Wishclaw Talisman. That is not creepy at all. No, okay. Spinning Wheel is the first of the uncommons. Once in the future, Mysterious Pathlighter, and a Fierce Witch Stalker. Look at the teeth on that thing. Holy moly. And we've got another Avalanche, but we have two packs, so hopefully. Things won't just start falling off the table here. Okay, so we get an adventure, planes, and witches vengeance is the rare with an elite headhunter, overwhelmed apprentice, shepherd of the flock, and a lost legion. Last pack here, people. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you are not already and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. We have a human rogue, an island, and what is this? Oh, a foil frogify. And the rare is Oathsworn Knight. There we are. All right. So we've got a Sir Alan the Lion's Claw, Inquisitive Puppet, and Red Cap Melee. And Red Cap Raiders, Goblin Warrior. Okay, quick recap. So we have a four Mythic box here. Not too bad, about average, I would say. Uh, you would have seen me tallying up the value there. So let's 
pop up the total value about here. This is the pre-release weekend. I expect the values will drop significantly. Get some nice showcase cards here as well. So I'm pretty happy about that. All right, thanks for watching and have a great day.